Hello everybody and welcome back to more Fiend Folia. I already randomized my character previously and I got Golem. So we're going to be playing as Golem here. Get on this run with this boy. Um, hopefully, let me just check my console. No errors. Okay, I got some errors last time. Ooh, I once again got the triple curse bug. I don't know why this bug still persists, but it's kind of hilarious. Um, as you can see, ooh, oh, that is... An insanely, insanely good trinket to get right, right early on. Um, I think it's this one that we can grind for free, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Grind this one for free. Crush this one. Lovely. 25% uh, chance to block red heart damage. Red heart damage is always half a heart. That's pretty darn good. And yeah, oddly smooth stone um, is pretty insane. We want to keep that as our active, but... I've been told to not worry so much about smelting uh, trinkets, meaning they lose power. So I'm going to try to. But yeah, so we have the triple curse problem right now. Basically, for some reason, um, the blessings mod as a, as a chance. I think it's the blessings mod at least for multiple curses to be active at once. One of the curses that we have is um, enemies can be uh, forced into champions. Another one that we have... Oh, God, so many champions. Another one that we have is enemies can revive. And those two compound quite nicely, as we just saw in the previous rune, to create some hellish spawns, um, some hellish beasts. Um, and then the other one is... Uh, I can't remember, actually, what the other one is. I'm not sure what other curse we've got going on. Okay, so conquest is the uh, thingy one. But it's, it's pretty fun. I, I Like, as much as it is kind of scary, I do kind of like this triple curse setup thing we got going on here. It, oh, really? It spawned three more ghosts? Are you kidding me? And one of the ghosts has the exact same champion effect? Is this just going to be an infinite loop? Don't tell me. Don't tell me this is going to be an infinite loop, please. Oh, it is. <laughs> it is. Okay, um... Apparently, there's a reason this... Okay, no, no, no. We, we, we escaped Purgatory. For some reason, that happened twice in a row, but it's not supposed to be able to. <laughs> it was kind of funny. We just spent so long in this room. The doors were probably about to auto-open for us. It took us that long. Anyways, we are out of the room. We are... <clears throat> There was one spider, and all of a sudden, there was two. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm not going to get to this one before it hatches. It's just tough tatties, I think. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, no. We didn't quite make it. It's okay. It only hatches into a, a regular old fella. Anyways, today, I'm in a particularly good mood. I had a pretty good day of work today. I've been talking about this hotel business that we've been doing. We went today to do some surveying. Do some, like, wow, well, I, I won't say surveying. We did some, like, setup. Um, and it went pretty well. And I got a free lunch out of it, which I'm very happy about. And it was a really, really, really nice free lunch. It was a club sandwich, so... My question of the day today is, what's the best free thing you've ever gotten? That's definitely not the best free thing I've gotten. And also, things that your parents bought you don't count. Things that your parents bought buy you are always free. Oh, I mean, I, I won't say always, but the majority of the time are free, so they don't really count. Um, oh god, this floor's gonna take forever. This floor's gonna take so long. We did manage to respawn. Okay, this is the other thing we have. We have the respawning rocks. We managed to respawn a tinted rock there. And it respawned again. Oh, ho, ho, beautiful. Oh, really? That was a terrible, terrible bit of luck there with the uh, golden chest. I will go for this, though. Oh, bloody spike. Oh, they get me every time. Prian, you absolute mastermind of devilish deeds. It's a really good idea, but goddamn, it's it's, it's, it's it's annoying. Hopefully, I get a golden bomb on this floor. That would really, really be quite good, because then we'd be able to get a lot out of destroying rocks. Honestly, this curse plus a golden bomb is is pretty pretty insane. But yeah, free meal, very very nice. Oh, for fuck's sake! I've lost so much health this floor. I've not even found my item room yet. <laughs> this is this is tragic. This is absolutely tragic. Oh my god. This room is gonna be awful. Please don't respawn enemies. It's gonna be so bad for me if you do. Oh my god. Don't take more damage, please. Okay, this, this hasn't been so bad so far. 
We haven't had too many of them respawn. We've had a lot of conquests. I really like the Chaos of Conquest. I really like the fact that it has a visual. I like the fact that um, the champions can still drop their respective drops. I, I think it's at a lower chance. I don't think it's the exact same chance of, uh, of, getting the, of getting the drops, but it is still a chance to get them, as we saw with that key just then. And then, yeah, the respawning enemy sort of thing, where they come back with a little bit less health. It's pretty nice. Oh my god. We've taken so much damage this floor, people. I think we want to probably spend a little bit of money to reroll our rebar, because it's not super useful while we've got soul heart health. Ooh, the filled burn heart. I love it. Right, um Smart Fly, honestly not that good, but we'll take it. And then yeah, let's go down and we'll um We'll reroll our rebar. Uh speed friction down. That doesn't really do much for us. Let's give it another go. Fire in a triple shot once a tier hits. The rest vanish. That's pretty decent. We'll go for that. I wonder if that changes our fire rate at all. It doesn't. Okay, I like this. This is nice. Basically, it just makes it overall easier for us to hit our shots. Which I think is good. Um, I'm going to gamble here and bomb through this to get the penny. But I was going to say to potentially respawn rocks as tinted rocks. We didn't get so lucky though. No golden bomb for us. Right. Anywho, Blighted Irvum here, which is not a particularly easy boss now. He got changed. He He's definitely, like, I wouldn't say he's that much harder, actually. He's just different, but um, makes him kind of difficult. But I do like what's going on here. Look at this. It's just such a cool, like, such a cool redesign, honestly. Huge props for this redesign. Please don't let me lose this health, though. I really want to keep this burn heart around. And we managed to, luckily. Uh, we got the 30% chance to gain an extra cent when picking up coins. Chance to replace rocks with fool's gold rocks. That's pretty good, but I'm actually really happy with what I've got going on right now. I'm, I'm going to stick with it. Also, pretty happy today because I have a K.A. Fruit Punch with me, which is a very, very nice uh, drink. I kind of hesitated there because I was going to call it a canned drink, but... Sounds weird saying that. Even though it is a canned drink... So I don't think there's any possibility that I deal extra damage with this setup. Uh, do you know with the um, with the triple shots? I don't think there's any chance that I can actually genuinely hit the other shots. But it does just make it generally a lot easier for us to hit our shots. So it's most certainly not a bad thing. It literally gives us triple the radius to hit our shots. Oh, you bugger! I was like, mm, I wonder if he drops his champion drop while he's actually dead there like that. But certainly he does. Um, now, I don't suspect uh, this one will have much of a reduced effect, so I'm just going to smelt this one. Yeah, it, it literally does the exact... It functions the exact same way. Nice to know. Soul Heart and a half because of our dexterity there. Lovely. I don't think there's any other ways to get dexterity. It kind of says it like it's an established stat that can be applied through various means, but I'm pretty sure this is the only thing that can add it. Unless there's a few other um, stones that can add it. Oh, wait, no. You can hit with multiple tiers at once. I just hit two... Um, as long as you hit the enemy at the exact same time, which makes this incredibly good. As long as they're lined up. Little monster, pretty fantastic. Watch out for this bomb as we walk out the door here. Little monster is, yeah, pretty, pretty awesome. Does a lot of damage. he will keep us going. Ooh, double Rotten Heart pick up there. Actually, not terrible, but not what I was intending to do at all. I don't know if using those kill switches can generate uh, champion drops either, you know. Never really experimented with that or seen evidence one way or the other. I don't think they can, but I might be completely wrong. Honestly, the game's feeling very lag-free right now. I will say I have currently disabled Ipecac, so that might be why. Ipecac does tend to generate a little bit more lag than other mods. Not, not a ton, not as much as some people think. Uh, but I've just disabled it for right now because there's currently a bug with Isaac modding where if anything is showing error messages in the console, it can bug out all of your mods. And Ipecac just recently got an update, which was fixing an interaction between it and Repentance Plus, which was causing errors. 
but the update brought a new error, so <laughs> I've notified the dev, uh, the dev. The update only came out earlier today, so I do not blame them whatsoever. Um, it happens. It'll almost definitely be fixed by the time you guys are watching this. Um, the Sour Patch is really nice, uh, and we got constantly uh, fires in a random direction. I will take it. And I think I'm going to go Angel Deal here. Oh, I love our baby little tears. Um, hmm... I was going to say maybe I won't smell anything onto me, but honestly, I like the idea of keeping this guy around. I'm sure he'll do it a little less often now, but still. Right, down we go. Yeah, the, the smaller tier size is, like, not a big problem, but obviously with the triple shot, it does make it a little worse. Not a lot worse. This is a weird room. Oh, God. Thank you, Lilypad. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> That's an annoying room. Right, try and use little monster here to do good damage, because he does very good damage. Oh, my Lord. This guy's got aggressive. Oh, balls. That, that was a very good shot, my good sir. Okay, we do have a red heart back over here. Let's go get that. Let's go. Do, 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 do. I've got to take this the right way. So I can still get back. Aha. I kind of did that right. Okay. We unfortunately lost one of our rotten hearts here. Not something I would have liked to see, but it happens. Shop to buy a soul heart, potentially. Shop to buy nothing, more like. But we can generate ourselves a little bit of money. Huzzah. I always like it when I say that and I'm actually right. <laughs> It always feels a little stupid when I say that, and then it's like, ah, eh, no. Also, something that I'm forgetting right now, we have a lot of bombs. You get extra, um, you get extra trinkets as this character for going to secret rooms. I always forget that secret rooms are so valuable with this character. So we should be, uh, trying to pay a little more attention to the possibility of where secret rooms could be, considering we're so in the money in terms of how, how many bombs we have. We have the ability to go for it. We really ought to. Right, so secret room. At the minute, we don't know. I don't think. I don't think we know. I'm not seeing any ridiculously obvious spots. Okay, this dude is just firing in the complete wrong direction. I didn't realize the guy on our head wouldn't just fire towards the enemies. He's just firing wherever he, wherever he well pleases, to be honest. Oh no, he's just firing up, actually. He doesn't fire anywhere but up. Slightly hard little sort of bypass bit to get through here. Really like the rework of these guys as well with the bubble. The bubble-based enemies. It's, ha it's hard to remember that my shots still deal really good damage when, when they look this small. Okay, secret room is almost likely here. Almost, almost likely. Almost definitely here. There you go. So we get ourselves. That's pretty nice. Soul of and then we get enemies get a random weak point when damage from that direction they take extra damage. And then we also get damages the player uh, blocks um, damage from spikes and spiked chests. Hmm. Not quite sure what to do with this. Smaller permanent all stats up when crushed. Go with that. How, how much of an all stats up is this? 6.39 damage. That's actually a really decent all stats up. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. I must certainly take that, right? Let's just quickly go back to our secret room here. Grab this. Trade it in. For a bit of extra HP. I know this is a bit of a stupid play, but I'm going to go back and pick up my Dexterity Stone so I can get a little bit more health out of picking up that Soul Heart. We should go up to three Soul Hearts while holding this now. Yeah, see? 
a little bit more worthwhile. Right. I'm pretty happy with the stuff we have right now. I honestly don't know if I want to smell either of these either. But as people said, I shouldn't get too hung up about that. Chemical peel, that's actually really good with the setup we have right now. Flat two damage. Oh yes. That is a lot of damage we're putting out right now. More bombs as well for more secret rooms. I like that. It only counts for the first secret room though. The second secret room doesn't do the same thing. Good, good. Right, over towards our boss, I think now. Towards? Towards. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing a lot of damage here. Mini Isaacs don't get don't get distracted. Stay on the job. Stay focused on the job. This is the shop. What am I doing? My brain just defaulted there. But yes, this is the correct way. Of course. Alright, what, what can we maybe get second secret room wise? Probably here? Maybe here. Neither. Okay, wow. Wasn't expecting that, but we'll leave that as it is. Use uh, monster. Oh god, that is that is quite the aggressive attack. Holy! But this guy, this guy kind of fucks. He hit me a lot there. The first pick up every floor. Um, first pick up every floor costs one cent, but disappears when bought. These pickups are spawned at the start of the next floor. Hmm. I don't think we want that right now. I think we're just going to go and trade that in for some HP. What an interesting concept, really. Bit of extra health out of that. Yeah, the smooth stone is just so good. And this all stats up is pretty awesome, too. And this is spawns a void blood machine. I still don't really know how these work. It just took all my health at once. And it gave us nothing in return. No, give me some money, but that's fine. That is what it is. Right, these guys, these poopy boys. Okay, my turret guy's firing to the right now. Maybe he just picks a random direction every room. I don't know. Extra burn heart there. Kind of interesting that the burn heart gave the extra healing there. I don't know if you saw that. But it gave me a half red heart on picking up a burn heart, which is just strange. Got no keys right now, so we're desperately looking for those. Ooh, the grape boys. I don't know what these guys are actually meant to be. They do, they do just look like a bundle of grapes. I feel like they are meant to be, considering carrots are in the game, but I'm not... With Fiend Folio, it's never... You can never be entirely sure. There's a lot of funky stuff that goes on in this game, so... I never really know. Oh, Planetarium. Wow, I was not expecting that. Very happy about that. These guys are... Yeah, I just want to say, these guys are going to hit me. They fire all the herming shots. Get out of here. We lost that burn heart, unfortunately. Still, just remembering now that a planetarium is all well and good. But I don't have a key for it, so... Makes no difference to me right now. Not one bit. Oh, goddamn. Shop, planetarium, and item room. If we don't get at least two keys to this floor, I'm going to be quite upset. Especially if we don't get that planetarium opened. That could be really fun. That could be something I enjoy quite muchly. Go, my mini monstro fella. Secret room feels like it's here. There you go. It is. And we get ourselves the taking damage grants a temporary shield. Okay, we don't really care about that. We can go and trade that one in. There's at least one of our keys, though. Going to the secret room was very positive in this uh, regard here. I like that. Um, we want to be making sure that we... Uh, Always, when we're trading in stuff, we take down the smooth stone with us to get that bonus health. Hello. Okay, we can smelt stuff to us at this point. I still don't know if I want to do that or not. Um, let's get you to eat that. I'm still going to keep this in my hands. I'll see what I end up getting at the rest of this floor to whether I smelt stuff or not. Because I kind of like having both of these as like active as what they're meant to be doing at their full effect sort of thing. Okay, be careful of these jumpy bastards. They haven't changed much with the mod, but they have changed to have a bit more explosive force when they split from one another, which certainly causes some issues. A dime is pretty nice there. 
Like I said, we got one key now. That's uh, that's that's pretty damn good. Got kind of penned in there, but you can see just our health is is rising so quickly because of the way that this um. Thank you for the extra money because of the way that this game works with the smooth stone. Goddamn turd burglars, they're everywhere. But yeah, who's having a good day today? Who's having a bad day? Let's figure it out and let's find out what we could do to help or what we can do to make the good times keep rolling, shall we? I'm sure there's plenty of things. Other people in the comments can give you some positive, I don't know, reinforcement or just help you out for a tough time. I don't know, everyone. I'm hoping everyone in my community can be nice to each other. I'm hoping. I think so. I don't know anyone that, like, is regular in my community that is a, a bad person at all. Everyone that watches my videos, especially those of you that comment on the regular. You're all cuties. Drop some spiders right at the end of your fight. Lucky rock, I can't get rid of that. I can't smell that. Here's our first angel deal. Oof, and it is a doozy. It is a doozy, baby. Right, um... We still only have one key. I said I was hoping for two. I could go into my shop and hope to get more. But I don't know if that's the best idea. I'm not 100% sure, because I might not get a key at all, so... I don't know if I want to take that risk. Come on, last room to give me a key. Ugh. We do have Holy Mantle here, though, so we can just re-up uh, re it. Go in the cash room for free. Which unfortunately didn't really give us what we wanted. Ech. Big heck. We're missing out on an item room here. Planetary is priority, but you know that I'm going to get Mars or Soul, don't you? Mars, if, if I get Mars or Soul, I will quit this run. Guaranteed. Nah, I won't, but I will be upset though. <laughs> Hello. Damage up for each new room. Well, that's actually really good. Um... Unfortunately, we can't get into either of these chests. Bollocks. Um, just trying to think if there's any other out for us to get a key. I like the little beard that we've been given here. But yeah, exploration is key now because we'll gain damage and stuff for it. Second secret room could be in a few different places here. Primarily, probably like here. Or like... Up top here. I always hate trying to find second secret rooms in L-shaped rooms. Balls. I don't know. I don't know where it is. Just waste so many keys on that. It is as it is. Ah. Uh, but yeah, the rest of the week, I've got some good plans. I've been playing Elden Ring. Over on um, the second channel, which hasn't been uploaded yet. I don't know. If, I think I'm gonna save it for 10k. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna save like revealing that channel, sort of it being proper and actually start uploading once we hit 10k. Because I I wanted to do something for 10k, but I've not really got a good plan. Obviously, I'm gonna do the face reveal thing, but I feel like that isn't really enough. So I feel like even though it's not gonna be for everyone, sort of. Re re up in the Isaac series is, is going to be for everyone, like doing the new save file and stuff. But then also, yeah, starting the new channel with some additional extra content on it. Um, I think it's going to be rather nice. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to be recording some Elven Ring over the next few days. And, um, Unprimed Gigabomb, hell yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, I want to be, um, backlogging some of it, playing some Elven Ring and getting that ready. So then. There'll be some Elden Ring for you guys to watch, so I recorded the first episode yesterday, and um, it was just like a two-hour session. It's going to go up as a two-hour video as well, so those of you that like the really long-form content, it's there. It's very chill. It's just me kind of talking through our early game in the in the uh, beautiful world of Elden Ring. I, did I say go down here? Did I really? Because I don't think I did. <laughs> Overkill, slightly. Whoops. Okay. Um yeah, what I was gonna what I was about to say there is um just kind of some chill chat, playing through the early game of Elden Ring and the lands between, having a good time. 
I'm going to be playing a lot more of it. I'm quite enjoying it, to be honest. Just kind of talking through my process and talking through, like, where I'm going to go next and stuff. It's, it's quite therapeutic. It's quite nice. And I'm hoping some people enjoy it. I'm hoping that people will find uh, some comfort in just sticking it on in the background. Even if you don't like the game, I feel like if you're the sort of person that likes having my, uh, my eyes at commentary or whatever on in the background while you're doing stuff, I know there's a good few people out there that have said they like that. It might be the sort of series you want to uh, check out on the new channel. I'm really not bothered if the, if the second channel doesn't do well, if it doesn't like get get a ton of subs or whatever. Um, I just I just hope that there's someone out there that enjoys it, and I'm gonna enjoy playing the games anyways. The games that I've got kind of lined up in my mind right now for it are obviously Elden Ring. Um, I really want to play more of that. Um, the Witcher Three when the new update comes out is actually out already. But I've heard there's some serious stability and performance issues, so I'm going to wait until they have um, sorted out themselves. Plague of Decay. Plague of Decay. Uh, so yeah, wait until those have sorted themselves out. Um, and then also Cyberpunk. They're sort of the main games that I have in my mind right now that I really want to play. Just because they're all games that I've started and not finished and want a good excuse to try and finish. But I also think they're games that people would enjoy watching me play and I'm going to enjoy playing. And they also don't really fit on this channel, so those are definitely going to be ones that I uh, upload over there and play. And I'll probably... It's, it, I was considering if I should do like where I only play one game until it's finished, but I think I might do a bit of a variety. It's no guarantee, and, and as I've said with this series before, um, on the sec this second channel before, sorry, the upload schedule is going to be incredibly sporadic. It's not going to be on a schedule. It's not going to be daily or anything. It's just going to be when it fits in, uh, when I can manage it. Ooh, nice amount of pennies here. Uh, so that'll just be, yeah, whenever, whenever it works for me sort of thing. Um, go like that. Um, but yeah, I might, I might like upload multiple games simultaneously sort of thing. Um, so that it's not just the one thing on there. But yeah, people will have to let me know what they think of that. If people want to let, let me know sort of how many of you would be tuning in to uh, the Elden Ring series every now and again. I'd be intrigued to know. Intrigued to know how many people are uh, sort of down to clown with that. I'm hoping I can get the uh, the second channel up to at least a thousand subs eventually, uh, but I'm, I've got no really long-term goals for it or anything. It's just going to be kind of a content dump sort of place. I'm also going to put um, I'm also going to put anything with me and Never Named over on that channel. The uh, episodes where he joins me in Gungeon and Nuclear Throne and things like that, they'll stay on the main channel. But like when we play. Um, when we play, what's it called, Half-Life and Portal and other games like that, they're all going to go on the second channel. Because I feel like I really enjoy those videos personally, just making them with Never Named. I don't really care for the sort of content that's coming out of it. It's more just enjoyable to play games with him. Um, but I do also want to record it because I think some fun content does come out of them. But at the same time, I realise that not everyone on the channel is here to see um, a two-hour video of me playing um, a 15-year-old game or however the hell old... Um, the first... How, how old is the first Half-Life? It's, it's very old, I know that. Bombing a tinted rock... Oh, okay, that's a strange one. I don't need any health, so I can leave that as it is. Um, Yeah, so I think I'm going to go and put that over there. I actually already have all of... So I, I already uploaded all of Half-Life 1, and I uploaded some of Half-Life 2, but I, I, I stopped uploading it for a few reasons. One of them was that it was just getting really low views, and it was kind of, like, dragging down the rest of the channel. For some reason, YouTube has this weird thing where it's like, oh, oh, one of your videos did really poorly. Ah, okay, let's just stop showing people your channel as a whole. So it was it was unfortunately affecting the rest of the channel, so I, I stopped uploading it. Uh, but yeah, also, like I said, I kind of had that this idea halfway through to start the second channel, and I've just not really found a good time to do it, and 10k... Seems like a very good time to do it. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's, let's just use the sun card in the next room. Why not? Sun. More range. Wow. That's pretty good too. I like that. Um. Yeah, so I, I thought that was a better idea. So I've already got all of Half-Life 2 recorded, even though I never uploaded all of it. I've also got Half-Life 2 episode... One, the uh, the stories, whatever, whatever it's called, like DLC sort of thing, and I've got um, some of episode two, and I've got all of Portal One, 
So there's a lot of backlogged content with Never Named that I did months ago that just hasn't been uploaded yet and I've just been kind of sitting on. Um, but I've been sitting on it for good reason. I, th there's a time and a place to upload it. I'm excited for people to see it. Uh, but for those of you that really enjoy those videos, I know there's a few out of you, a uh, uh, few there of you that have asked multiple times, where's this content? And I've always said, it's coming, it's coming. I wasn't lying, it is. Do not worry. So when we hit 10k, which I'm at the minute at the trajectory we're going at, I think I'm going to end up hitting 10k probably just after New Year's, maybe a little before. That was just terrible. Um, I'm at like 9.93k now, and I'm gaining around 180 subs a month. That's a pretty good one if we can smell that. Let's give that a go. Let's leave that up there now. I think I can smell this one on this floor, right? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Nice. Excuse me, I want that. Yeah, I'm excited for people to see it. Ooh, I forgot Ouija board is a tears up now. Amazing. Never thought I'd see the day, but yeah, Ouija board in the most recent patch got a buff, which I really like because, yeah, Ouija board wasn't a great item before, I'll be honest. Uh, we can probably reroll to fill up the shop a bit more and get some other stuff here, such as that. The Elzebub I wasn't expecting, but I'm definitely happy with. Buddy in a box. Okay, go, pretty nice. That was a very good shop for us. The tier rate that we're at now is pretty awesome. God damn, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, we got some sort of bottle in our hand? Is this like the mom's knife? What the hell is going on? Why can't I hurt these enemies? Are these mine now? I think they're mine now. What the heck? I'm very confused. Very confused indeed. What on earth is... I can't even figure out what's happening, but things are dying. I know that for sure. Um, I think we want to go with... Polaroid? And then Soul Locket? Soul Locket, put it in your packet. Right, let's go. <sighs> okay. Yeah, strange stuff. I kind of hope these items wear off soon, because I'm confused by all of them. I mean, I'm killing stuff pretty fast. I just don't really know how or why. I don't know what this blue beam is. I don't know what that noise is. Just all of it confusing. Okay, thank you for returning me back to my regularly scheduled programming. Thank you. Well, yeah, I feel like it's... Uh, I feel like after the 10k mark, we're going to enter sort of the... The next era of the Turtle Melon channel. It's not going to be all that different. Um, it's just like New Isaac series going back to the beginning. I think that's going to be fun for me. I hope it's going to be fun for you guys. I kind of, I, I've never really been the sort of person that likes that liked the idea of a new save file. Because I actually agree with a lot of you. I prefer to play the game with more items unlocked. But I just feel like two things. One, having a sense. Oh, I love this item so much. Gimme. Limestone, Tough Twins, Tiger Eye, and Broken Remote. Broken Remote, fuck's sake. Still, it shouldn't matter too much. Uh, we're not using an active right now. Um, I like the fact that it actually used um, thingy trinkets, golem trinkets. I don't know if that's because we're playing as golems. That could just happen randomly. But the fact that it actually used golem trinkets there is pretty cool. Um, we also got pet rock, which is just a beautiful, beautiful child. Um, but yeah, I think two reasons. One, it's just going to be a little more enjoyable for me because um, it's something a bit different, a bit, you know, a bit. So I won't say new because it's technically not new, but it is new to me sort of, because I haven't done it in a while. But also, I feel like giving giving the series as a whole more of an actual goal might mean people are a little more invested in what happens each run and where we're currently at. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it's going to bring people back to the series. I don't know if it's going to make people more invested at all. But I feel like there's potential for, um, for the people who are already watching and people that return to be a little more invested to stick around or a little more invested to watch each episode and find out what happens when we're actually going for completion marks and getting unlocked. Because we see how many marks we get each run and we see what we unlock and that sort of stuff. And that's always fun, I think. I think that's always something that's fun. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys think differently. But I think that could be kind of fun. 
The only thing I'm a little worried about um, in general is just it will limit the variety of characters we can play um, in two ways. One of them, one of them is because we won't we won't have all the characters unlocked off the bat, so that's limiting. But also, once we start to complete more completion marks, we are forced to play characters we don't have completed, and that limits things as well. So um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. But I hope so. Just just because I feel like the thumbnails with whatever characters on them is uh it kind of influences the viewership of the video like i don't want to be a cynic here and I'm, I'm hoping i'm i'm incorrect but i'm pretty sure this video um is going to get more views than like my last than my last one that didn't have a modded character for the simple fact that it's golem um and I, i'd like that to not be the not be the way that it works i'd like it just be i can upload whoever i want but Playing newer characters, it just attracts more viewers. Playing more interesting characters, yeah. So, which is fine. I kind of understand it. It's it's perfectly reasonable. That's the way it works. But that's 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 the only thing that kind of like makes me a little bit fearful for starting the new series. Um, I don't want to sort of lose the consistency that we've got. But like I said, I think something new, a bit of change, it's always good. And then yeah, like I said, the new channel. It's just going to be nice to have, like, an outlet and a place to dump additional content. Because, I'll be honest, I really don't have a lot of time to make additional content. I already spend a good amount of time, a good amount of my free time, um, like, playing games and recording for the main channel. Obviously, I spend at least an hour a day on Isaac. Sometimes more, basically, if I know that I've got other commitments during the week and can't actually record a video, it means I've got to record two on a different day sort of thing. So it, it really depends. It's it's a bare minimum of like like ten hours a week, pretty much guaranteed, with all the videos that I uh, that I make and upload. So it's already a big commitment. And then I have a um a, a full time job, which is technically forty hours a week. I don't always work exactly forty sort of thing, but uh, it's a it's, it, it is that, that is what it's called. That is what's on my contract. So that's already essentially like between thirty and fifty hours a week. Well, I'd probably say between between 40 and 50. Um, gone there. And then, obviously, I, I want to actually play some stuff in my free time, too. Which is normally, like, Warzone 2, as I've mentioned with my friend. And that's normally, like, one or two hours a night, depending. Not, not obviously, every single night. It depends on what's going on. Um, so then... If you if you take the rest of the free time that I've got there, obviously I want to spend some of that with my girlfriend, or I might be doing I might be socializing, or just living, cooking, things like that. So it doesn't leave a lot of free time to create videos for the channel, but I like the idea of having the channel there because then if I do have that three or four hours free and I really feel like playing Elden Ring, I can just record it just because. I don't and the thing is as well with it. With it having the caveat of being a more relaxed form of content, I don't have to worry about, like, keeping the commentary constantly flowing or being overly entertaining. I can just kind of play it really chilled, how I normally would, and just kind of have some light commentary throughout. And to be honest, I'm the sort of person that kind of likes to talk a lot anyways, as probably many of you have, uh, have sussed out by now. Um, I'm the sort of person that can talk for a long time about nothing. So, jumping in and... Um, talking about anything I want and just kind of chatting as we play the game and kind of just talking through my process as we play it, it's kind of helpful for me and it's kind of relaxing. Um, so it's, it's, it's basically just some additional stuff that will come every now and again. Making no commitments with uh, what the second channel will end up being or how long it will last or whatever. I just, it just, it's just nice to have it there. It's just nice to have it there. I do need to give an appropriate name, though, because at the minute it's just Turtle Melon. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, at the minute the, the, the channel's just called Turtle Melon instead of The Turtle Melon. It's just Turtle Melon. But someone suggested Turtle Melon Extra. Some people have suggested Tootle Melon, which I find kind of funny. Um, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call it yet. But as I've said before, for any of you that don't know, there is a Warzone video on there that's like an hour and a half long. If you're... It, I, like... I imagine many of you aren't interested at all in Warzone, but if you are interested in seeing how decent I am at that game, considering the amount I talk about it on the channel here and there, then you can go and have a look. I got a win on the video, which I'm pretty happy about, so there you go. Yeah, that's. I think Warzone's a game that I'll probably upload pretty sparingly to that channel, just because I know it's not, even on the second channel, I know it's not what people are there for, but 
if I, I, like, now that I've sorted out my recording setup, I was saying in a previous episode about how I've kind of fixed the way I do recording to, to had a lot less lag. It does make my file sizes absolutely massive now. <laughs> my Isaac videos went from, like, um, they went from, like, being, I think it was around, wait, I already saw the boss, where, where am I going? Um, they went from being around, like, eight, seven, 700 to, like, 900 megabytes, maybe a little over a gig, to being, like, bare minimum 5 gig every single time. So it has increased my video size, but honestly, I've got an 8 terabyte hard drive that I've literally got every single video I've ever recorded for the last three years on. <laughs> I've, I've not deleted a single video. I have every single one of them stored on that thing. And it's not even, it's, it's, like, it's like three three quarters full. It's not even full yet, so. I'm not that bothered about the amount of space they take up. But now that I've got that sorted out, I can just kind of record anything as I'm playing it. So I can just record Warzone as I'm playing it with friends. And if I get a particularly fun match, especially one where the commentary isn't like, um, isn't like, something that I'm worried to upload sort of thing, then, oh, what the heck? I don't know why that happened. Um, then I can just upload it and people can have a, have, have a watch. Those that want to can, those that don't can leave it sort of thing. Pretty good stuff there. What the hell? Where did that come from? Was, was that from Golden Flakes? Why, thank you, game. That was very kind of you. Did I get BFF at some point? Why am I familiar so fucking huge? Like, I swear look What the hell? I got Hive Mind. Like, Robo Baby I get because he's a fly, but Lil Monstro looks bigger, right? Is that just me? He looks huge. He's not a fly. Because Beelzebub could make it bigger and Hive Mind could, whatever. I don't know. I don't know about all this. This is a doozy of a room. Oh my god, what the hell? We're getting through it just fine though here. Getting through it just fine been a pretty good run actually it's been a really chill run i like these runs where like we just end up at the end of the run and like i've basically not paid attention in like 20 minutes i've just been like getting really into my commentary <laughs> i really i honestly really enjoy those i just i just get really so wholeheartedly into what i'm talking about that i just absolutely autopilot the rest of the game um and don't even really think and i'm like oh shit i'm on the chest <laughs> It happens quite a lot on this game, actually. I mean, obviously, with the amount of hours I have in this game, which is, like, almost 1,600 on Steam, it's probably at about 2,000 overall if we take into account, like, my offline hours and stuff. I mean, why wouldn't I take that to end the run? Who wouldn't do this? It's just funny. I wish Tiny Planet affected your familiars, too. Now, that would be brilliant. But it would also be awful. But Blue Baby, he do perish. He do perish and we exit the floor. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next one.